also have time, you can visit this iconic landmark. You cannot go to Lisbon, Portugal without visiting. Hey everyone, this is RJ and welcome again to my channel. So I'm very excited to show you guys and share with you my travel experience here in Lisbon, Portugal because this is going to be my first time in this country. Lisbon, the capital of Portugal, is one of Europe's most beautiful and cosmopolitan cities. Renowned for its warm and sunny disposition, Lisbon is a colorful and vibrant travel destination. The city is blessed with a warmth of historical monuments and world-class museums. Fearless navigators embark from here in the 15th and 16th century to sail unknown waters and chart new lands, and the legacy of this golden age of discovery underpins much of the city's culture and heritage. Back, relax, and come and join me and explore the city of Lisbon, Portugal. So to start things off, behind me is one of the, and if not the most uh, iconic and historical landmarks here in Lisbon. So this is Torre de Belém, but this tower has become the symbol of the country's age of discovery during the 16th century. Built as a fortress and originally seated in the middle of the river, the tower represents the high point of Portugal's extraordinary age of discovery during the 16th century. Climb the impossibly steep spiral staircase to the top of the floor tower and you will be rewarded with a fine panorama of the waterfront esplanade and the river. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is indeed a valuable and iconic monument worth visiting. And while you're at it, you may want to consider and walk a couple of minutes to the monument to the discoveries. The enormous monolith pays tribute to the golden age of discovery. The immortalized stone leans over the river Tagus to resemble the prow of a cavalry the type of ship used by the Portuguese navigators in the 15th century to discover new lands. So if you're new to my channel, most of my contents are related to cheap travels and exploring the cities and wonderful places here in Europe. I'm also making videos related to being an international student in Estonia. So I've already left the links in the description box below, so do check them out. Next to my list is Plaza de Figueira, where this is a square here in the city of Lisbon, surrounded by hotels, cafes, and other establishments. So right now, there's also even a bazaar that is happening here in the square. And and behind me is the bronze equestrian which represents uh, King John the first uh, this square is also uh, a hub for the other public transportations like taxis um, trams and uh, buses so yeah uh, just close by is considered to be the heart of Lisbon officially known as Praça Dom Pedro de Fort but the locals prefer to call it by its old name Rocio it's been the main plaza for centuries because it's located in the downtown Baixa district the bronze statue in the center commemorates Dom Pedro de Fort, King of Portugal and the first Emperor of Brazil. I really had so much fun going to this place, so I think that you should also consider the Arco de Rua Augusta. Lisbon's huge riverfront square, Praça de Comercio, is an impressive ground which is situated from the Arco de Rua Augusta where its vast dimension can really be appreciated. Arco de Rua Augusta was built to commemorate the city's reconstruction after the 17th 1955 earthquake. Originally designed as a bell tower, the building was ultimately transformed into an elaborate arc after more than a century. Close to the arc is another colossal design, the Elevator de Santa Justa. This is one of the truly unique attractions here in this area. The exterior structure of this 19th century industrial age marvel is adorned with glorious neo-gothic arches, geometric patterns which showcase its elegant art forms. Tourists can enjoy the viewing platform at the top of the lift and from here you can see some of the finest views of the central Lisbon. Also have time you can visit this iconic landmark, Se Lisbon, which is the cathedral of the city's capital. Lisbon's famous cathedral, the Se, has undergone several design makeovers. The construction of this iconic landmark dates back from the 12th century and is predominantly Romanesque in style, bearing the official name of Santa Maria Maior. 
This magnificent structure has been classified as a national monument since 1910 and has survived several natural disasters such as the Great Earthquake of 1755. If you wish to visit this place, you can always go by foot, rent a tuk-tuk, or ride the famous Tram No. 28 which is a tourist attraction in itself. The twin castellated bell towers remain the standout feature of this cathedral. Moreover, the solid and imposing structure of Se is one of Lisbon's most important and iconic religious buildings of today. Are you also a travel enthusiast just like myself? If you are and you are not aware of the travel restrictions and protocols of each country that you're going to visit, I know someone who is. iVisa will going to help you out sort these problems for you. iVisa is a one-stop shop for visas, health declarations, and other travel-related documents that you might need. Through easy-to-use online application forms and world-class 24-7 customer service, iVisa can help you get your travel visas or health-related documents in the simplest and fastest way possible. To know more about them, visit their website, iVisa.com, and you can also find the additional information in the description box below. Your Lisbon travel wouldn't be complete if you're not going to visit Castelo de São Jorge. This iconic place is one of Lisbon's most distinctive travel destinations. The castle itself was founded in the 10th and 11th century, but the castle enjoyed its most important period between the 13th and 14th century under King Dom Manuel I. Arguably, it is one of the most important places in the city and a very popular leisure space amongst the people living in the neighborhood area. Being situated in the city's highest hill, it is generally agreed to afford the best view over the city and the river Tagus. If you wish to visit and experience the best view of the East Lisbon, you can do so for an entrance fee of 10 euros for adult and 5 euros for a child or a student. Apart from the castle, you'll be able to visit small museum, a bar, and a restaurant if you wish to stop for a lunch before you continue exploring Lisbon. Those are the places and iconic destinations that I visited here in Lisbon, Portugal. So if you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And you can also follow along with my journey in my Instagram. This is going to be it for me for today. See you on my next video, travel, and adventure.